Well, welcome again to Burmart Farms. I know, I know. I've not put a video up for a while, but I'm gonna try today. It's a pretty day. It just got through rain in here, probably a good inch of rain, but uh, I just, I had a couple of watermelon plants that come up volunteers, so I thought I'd better plant them. So I made this area right here for watermelons and pumpkins or something, something viney. But I went down to Lowe's and picked me up some uh, Charleston Gray, Charleston Gray, Charleston Gray, and a uh, Jubilee. And I think these two that I transplanted that were uh, uh, volunteers from last year's, I think they were Crimson, uh, Crimson Sweets, I think that's what they call them. But nevertheless, um, let's get, uh, I'm gonna plant watermelons. Oh, and uh, I got 25 slips of uh, sweet potatoes uh, I planted, but uh, I lost five. Uh, they just, I didn't think they were gonna work at all, but uh, they looked kind of dead when I put them in. But they came back, but out of the 25, I've lost five. So I've got six new ones right here to plant. We'll, we'll get to planting them too, okay? All right. Now, Miss Cindy's mom, Granny, says to put uh, horse manure down the bottom of the hole, but I got rabbit manure, um, so I work with rabbit. I can go up and get horse manure, but here in the uh, garden, I got uh, rabbit manure here, so I'm going to see what that does this year, okay? Now, Grant, I don't have them in a mound. Uh, last year I grew them flat on the flat ground and they did perfect. So I don't really see a need in a mound just as long as the. Now, this is my rabbit manure from the rabbits. I'm putting that in there. I'm gonna water it down here a little bit. Get her soaked in there. It did rain, but you know, it's wet about two inches on top, but down below. It ain't wet at all, so we'll put this right here. <clears throat> I'll bury our dirt around it. Smash her down, take the air out. First, put its sign right there, what it is, and then uh, we'll pour water around it. Get it soaked up, see if it grows. All right. Then we'll go to the next one. Do the same thing. Get a handful of rabbit manure. Soak it down. Pull the sign out. Pull this out. Break the root up a little bit. And uh, cover it around. 
smash it down. in Charleston Grays. They seem to get large. Full of sun. We'll put the sign down there on it. There you go. That's uh, another Charleston Gray. Let's go over. Let me show you what it looks like, what we're doing here. There's my corn back there. I got 70 foot rows of corn. Some of it didn't come up up there, but most of it come up through here. I got 28 tomato plants. I got two rows of Roma bean, Roma two beans. I got one row of variety of different peppers. I got, here's my sweet potato row right here. And of course this is sunflower seeds, right? Sunflowers, okay. Over here, I got a row of sunflowers. Of course, I've got my cabbage, my cauliflower, and my broccoli, and then I got lettuce and carrots and beets. But uh, let's plant another one here. Put our handful of moodooer down in there. We'll wet her up. And uh, we'll pull the sign out. And uh, put in there. Put her sign in there. And, uh, wet her up. Okay, I have to go get some more water. All right, now see you on the next one. I got another gallon of water. We'll uh, put the rabbit manure in the bottom. We'll wet it up. This right here is the odd one. It's a Jubilee. Okay? So we'll see what it does. It was only a single plant. sign right there and we'll come over and finish watering this one in so it says you know this is from Bonnie plant I can remember working at the feed store down there in Florida uh, how we uh, we got our plants and seeds and stuff from Bonnie Plant Farm down there in Kissimmee. Um, full sunlight, six hours, spacing 36 to 60 inches apart. 
planting depth container matured in 85 days okay so that's 85 days so 30 days is a month 60 days is two months so this would be halfway through june and then we got halfway through july halfway through august that puts us at two months i mean two three three months well probably at the end of august we'll have a mature probably sooner than that though i'm using that rabbit manure that's good stuff anyway so i probably uh i i bet you that i i know there's a garage there's a yard sale 127 yard sale that's in the first week of august and we'll have watermelon then that'd be good i could sell some watermelon all right okay that's for the watermelon let's go do some uh uh, sweet potatoes. Regard, that's what they call this. If I remember correctly, it's a real red one. Red color. One thing I learned about planting this year is you pack the dirt down around the plant. It's to keep the insects out and keep the plants dirty for protection.
that's the plan for today. We replaced them. Thank you for joining in. Oh, we've got Cindy coming through. Miss Cindy's gonna come over and see what I've done. I'm sure she'll approve. I hope so. We do. We've got little tomatoes. She announces. We do, we do. Are they red? No, they're green. They're green. Uh, yeah. Looks good, don't it? Well, I filled in all the gaps. Oh, okay. There's a couple here that I could get more, but uh, and I planted my six watermelons. Okay. Spaced them out pretty good. Uh, I didn't put what I didn't put uh, horse manure in the bottom like Granny said, but I did put rabbit manure in there. That'll work. Yes, ma'am. And I didn't do a mound because I planted them flat last year. Man, they just took off in the weeds. There ain't no weeds here. Yep. So I got a, uh, a Jubilee, a Charleston Gray, Charleston Gray, Charleston Gray, and the two, uh, I think those are the, what are they, Jimbos or Jumbos or something like that? The, uh, the ones you transplanted? Yeah. Is that what that was last year, Jumbos? Jimbos or I don't know. They're a thick plant though. Very good. Look how the corn turned out. Uh-huh. After, after putting the uh Miracle Grow. Miracle Grow on. It is kind of squishy. But the rain only went about two inches down. Yeah. And I, I planted those irises. Oh, you did? Yeah. Every one of them? Yep. Wow. You must have just dug one big hole and sewed them in. No, I've one, two, I put them in like five different places. I've got another cup missing. Right over there. Being a butthead. He is white. Oh no, he won't come near me. Uh oh. He won't follow me. Mama's gone. And he might be in mourning. Bring that shovel back over because I didn't need it. Oh. Put it back in the yellow. Gotcha. Deal. Gotcha. But you know, there's big puddles from the rain. It's going to rain again here. Yeah, I see that. Now he he'll he hollers for me. Yeah. But he Slipper. won't he won't follow me. In the cage? No, here he comes across the yard. Flipper! He, you know, beep, 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 yeah. beep. He won't. If I go his way, he goes the opposite way. Well, he's afraid you're going to pick him up. I know. It's a chance. <laughs> yeah, without the nutrients and everything getting sucked up in the.
puppies ready to go. Rain. Yeah. I'm going to have to put you in my pocket because it's going to rain. I'm using my phone, okay? So I'll catch you on the next video. We'll go do something else here, okay? As always, read your Bible every day. Be sensitive to that spirit and always love somebody. Tell somebody about Jesus because it's our only hope. Amen? See you in the next video.